530, a deadly Florida school bus crash touched off a national safety debate today, ending with a National Transportation Safety Board making two key recommendations to keep children safe. Our Serena Fazan explains. Florida educators say the state is already setting high standards in school bus safety. More than 13 years ago, Florida followed suggestions by the NTSB to keep children safe in buses, including compartmentalizing the buses, which includes higher seats and padding. The state even went above and beyond the recommendations by becoming only one of six states to equip new buses with seat belts. And now, if NTSB officials want even more action, they'll consider it, says Steve Hegarty, a spokesperson with Hillsborough County Schools the eighth largest district in the country. We're always trying to find ways to make our school buses safer. The NTSB board called for a review today after two accidents that led to the death of children on school buses, one in New Jersey and the other in Port St. Lucie, where a nine-year-old boy died. FHP troopers determined he was wearing a seatbelt, but it was not on properly. Today, NTSB investigators want to make sure that doesn't happen again. So they suggested providing educational material. A spokesperson with the Department of Education says there's already a set of guidelines that any parent can download. Scott Distasio, an attorney that specializes in school bus crashes, says bringing attention to school bus safety can only help. Florida has, you know, kind of taken the lead and, and has put some of these uh, requirements into their school buses, but nationally um, it, it, it hasn't happened as quickly as it should. What I would add to that is that um, we have a thousand, more than a thousand buses on the road every single day. We have a pretty darn good safety record. We had some um, really uh, dramatic accidents last year. We had a bus that was knocked over in its side. The students walked away from that. They were. The NTSB made five recommendations or made recommendations to five states, including the state of Florida. They also suggested vehicle to vehicle communication, but that technology could take some time. Reporting live from Hillsborough County, I'm Serena Fazan, ABC Action News.